ਆ ਰਹਿਣ ਦੇ ਰਹਿਣ ਦੇ ਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹਿਣ ਦੇ ਹੁਣ ਫੇਰ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਅਪਰ ਚਿਕਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਫੇਰ ਕਰਨਾ ਇਹ ਕੀ ਦੜ ਮੈਂ ਜੁਮਾ ਪੜਾਇਆ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਅੱਤੀ ਰਹਿ ਗਿਆ ਉਹ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਨਾ ਅੱਛਾ ਐਨੀਵੇਜ਼ ਰਾਈਟ ਓਕੇ ਨਾ ਆਮ ਗੋਨਾ ਡੂ ਇਟ ਲੁੱਕ ਆਮ ਗੋਨਾ ਡੂ ਇਟ ਅਰੇ ਮਨ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਕੁਝ ਮੈਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਅੱਛਾ ਜੀ ਅਸਲਾਮ ਅਲੈਕਮ ਵ ਰਹਿਮਤੁਲਲਾਹ ਵ ਬਰਕਾਤੂ ਕੀ ਅੱਲਾਹੁਮ ਸੱਲੀ ਅਲੈ ਸਯਦਨਾ ਵ ਮੌਲਾਨ ਮੁਹੰਮਦ ਵ ਅਲਾ ਅਲੀਹਿ ਵ ਸਹਬੀ ਬਾਰਕ ਸਲੀਮ ਵ ਸੁਲੀ ਅਲੀ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਦ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਵੀ ਟੂ ਡੇਜ਼ ਅਗੋ ਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਯੈਸ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਫਰਸਟ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਡਰੈਗਡ ਆਲ ਦ ਵੇ ਟੂ ਦ ਥਰਡ ਡੇ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਵੀ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਆਵਰ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਆ ਵੀ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਆਵਰ ਵਾਈਫਸ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਆ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਨਾਉ ਅ ਡੇਜ਼ ਹਸਬੰਡ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਮਾਈ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਵਾਈਫ ਡਸਨਟ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਆਰ ਹਰ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਈਫ ਡਸਨਟ ਨੋ ਵਾਟ ਦ ਓਬਲੀਗੇਟਰੀ ਅਪੋਨ ਹਰ ਟੂਵਰਡਸ ਹਰ ਹਸਬੰਡ husbands don't know what the obligatory action upon him the what is obligation towards his wife inshallah it will come today a uh, one slide that one nikah is nikah haram one nikah is nikah fard and one nikah is nikah sunnat in that inshallah we'll talk about that that what are your rights i think one someone asked from here a question that uh, what mean by kufu you have to marry in kufu kufu you know when you read qul wallahu wa billahi usma billahi jalid wallam yulad wallam jaw wallam yakul lahu kufu one ahad no one is on the level of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no one is his level allah is alone he has no partner he no one is on the level of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so kufu in marriage is i would call it different 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 categories of kufu kufu basically he has to be on that level he should not be doing, doing this he should not be doing this but one simple category of kufu is a definition of kufu is that that man the girl is going to marry he is not bringing shame towards this family he is not drug dealer he doesn't drink he doesn't hang around with girlfriends he doesn't go clubbing these are the things you should see that he is not doing plus he has got good not good job yes he, he has a job some people they put kufu there as well any parents they come to me they say no i don't want my daughter to marry this boy why because my daughter is doing law and the boy he is working in tesco how is the kufu it is kufu he is working is working is bringing money is bringing money what is the shame of working in tesco since but is old taxi driver is bringing shame why shame is that kufu means as long as the boy is not bringing no shame towards the family he can marry or she can marry now another thing once a girl is married to the boy who has to do who, who can break the relationship only father can break the relationship the father of the girl or the grandfather of the girl they both have right to break the, the relationship if the boy is not in kufu if the boy is not, how he has to go to an alim din it's not like he's going to go to no you have uh, my i'm telling you because it's not kufu you have to break the relationship you can't do that you have to go to a mufti who has done ifta he will tell you he is kufu or he is not kufu you just making up things no 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 it doesn't work like that that you make up the no i no he is bringing shame how do you know he is bringing shame so girl they can marry whoever they want to either kufu or no kufu they can marry nikah will take place definitely nikah will take place kufu has to do if father says no this is bringing shame towards my family so i'm going to break nikah so why okay let's see kufu now otherwise girl can go marry whoever they want to marry i would definitely discourage don't marry anyone that who is already been uh, involved in three girlfriends my and is still messing other girls and is still doing all the uh, haram stuff why uh, why are you going to marry you know are you really putting yourself in trouble just because he's a good looking boy but he has no good manners why would you marry you know what's going to happen maybe you are living a, right now chalo theek hai he looks good everything when he's going to bring another girl then what are you going to do you're not going to like him so kufu has to do only with the father when father says i want to break relationship then we'll see okay let's see what is kufu and what's not kufu otherwise the definition of kufu is normal definition is that if the boy is not bringing no shame towards the family a bad name towards the family then you can marry the boy girl has got nothing to do with kufu boy can go and marry whoever he wants to marry she works she doesn't work whatever she is doing no matter what she is doing of course she has to be a good girl whatever she is doing you can bring her home that's fine this has got nothing to do with kufu acha ji now we are starting with the psychologically how are gaps created between two minds you know these things what i'm telling you what i showed you yesterday and what i'm going to tell you today these are things we culture wise culture wise we are lacking in this 
Islam wise, we are not lacking in this. Our Nabi, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has already told us what to do when your wife is not talking to you. What to do when your wives are angry with you. Go and read about Sira. You know, these old things we are mentioning, it's all coming from Sira of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Are somehow from Quran as well, indirectly from Quran. But from Sira of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Why has Aisha Siddiqah radiyallahu ta'ala said, My Nabi, my Sarkar is just walking, talking Quran. His khulq is Quran. His manners are so good. Why? Because it is for Muslims that when you are married to someone, you have children, you are going to do business, you have friends, you have two wives, three wives, or you have whatever, however, whatever corner of the life you're going to go, whatever aspect of the life you're going to live, go and read about Rasulullah. Why? Okay. Psychologically, how are gaps created between two minds? The lack of understanding of others of other people's perception can create gaps because of miscommunication. You, you, you should have read my mind. Eh, eh, how can I read your mind? But you should know these things. I like it. Yeah, you tell me, isn't it? How am I going to read your mind? No, but you should know me. You should know what's going on inside of me. How do I know what's going on? Do I have jinns with me? They're telling you inside why this is what's going on. She's thinking. Uh, and I'm not gone. I've not gone to the maqam of that valayat that I know inside out of you. That what's going on. Don't do these kind of things. These things create fight. One is we fight on little things, but we should have never, you know, fought those things. How come you forgot my birthday? How come you forgot our anniversary date? You know, boys, they don't care. I'm telling you, you guys. Allah, it's like day of judgment now here. How come you forgot my date of birth? Oh, our anniversary date. No, that day which you could have spent beautifully, amazingly, you could have gone out and had some dinner or happily watched something at home, cup of coffee or something, going out, anything, you could have done that. Or you have ruined your not just that day, that goes on and on for one day, two days, three days. Shaitan was already preparing for that day. That day you could have spent so beautifully, sitting together, Spending some time together, but we have become so ignorant people that we don't even understand the trap of shaitan. That shaitan knew this day is coming, shaitan knew this is what they are planning, and he has his own plan. He said, Why, well, you know what? Let the day come, I'm gonna make him forget that day, and then I'm gonna put something in his wife's mind. She's gonna go and she's gonna say, How come you forgot this? How come you've forgotten all my birthday? And this day? Yeah, you don't previously as well, but why did you marry me? On birthday, I'm telling you, birthdays, I get phone calls. My husband gave me divorce on birthday. 20 years old girl phoned me. She was only 20 years old. She said, we were only married two years ago. We were only 18. He gave me uh, divorce. I said something on birthday. I said something. But he gave me divorce. Birthdays, divorces take place. On anniversary day, divorces take place. Just because of the little things. And we don't even understand. It's actually shaitan's work. If I forgot something, that's fine. That's okay. Just remind him. And then go out. That's all you have to do. Just calm your horses down. Why? Right? It's okay. It's okay. That's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. He only forgot your birthday or something anniversary. It's not like some obligatory or something on him. If he has not, he did not wake up for Fajr Nima, did you really get angry that much? Then it's okay. That's fine. That was obligatory. Fourth upon him. How come you are so easy? You are going so easy on him? But your birthday is obligatory. Why is it written in Quran or some authentic ahadith mutawatara came from? Yeah, this uh, Baji Parveen's uh, birthday is obligatory upon Mr. Shakar Sahib. If he doesn't fulfill this, then that's it. Don't know. He is definitely Jahanmi. Yeah, first that day is going to become Jahannam for him. Definitely full of fire and everything. Fighting and all the stuff going on. We shouldn't do that. This is one side of the lack of understanding. This is the one side of lack of understanding because of miscommunication. There's another side as well. Now you are completely ignoring your wife. Now let's go towards where they are right. Where they are right and where they are mainly, you know, complaint comes from wives. Mainly, I all whenever I get complaint, boys have got no problem. Wife doesn't talk for two weeks. Yeah. They, they, they'll be like, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Peace. Amazing. I can stay on my phone now. <laughs> I can play my PS5. I can go to my, all the boys. Eh? I can spin my car around. I can do so much stuff. The complaint always comes from girl side. My husband isn't talking to me. My husband is doing this. I'm just going to stress and he doesn't, talk, he doesn't say anything to me. 
he always stays out he always stay with his friends miscommunication lack of understanding you know when lack of understanding comes i tell you one thing now you boys problem as well i mean our problem as well the problem is that when you give less time to your wife when you spend less time with your wife this is where the more you know a problem creates when you give more time to your friends you know on the day of judgment your friends are not going to come and allah won't ask you what are the rights of your friends first right of your wife your parents will be there for right of your wife you are married to your friends or you got married to your wife you got married to your wife she is your responsibility responsibility is not just that that you only give her money sustenance roof you have to give her time as i mentioned yesterday there are four intimacies physical intimacy that's the only one we understand right there is a mental intimacy psychological intimacy spiritual intimacy who are the, who are going to fulfill these intimacies this is where you know, these four kind of you can say these are the four wheels of a car let's say one is puncture you can't really travel that far you can only go to the thai shop and how much noise is going to car going to make and you know, the whole neighborhood is going to hear na chalo ji yaar navi ladai shuru ho gayi hai why because he is he's not even understanding his wife or wife doesn't understand husband that's another problem when wife don't understand husband husband if he is working Let's say he's not, he's not, he has not done any degree and you got married to the person. When you got married to the person, he was a taxi driver, let's say. Or he's just doing a normal job. And you know what kind of expenses are nowadays. You know what kind of expenses are nowadays? How to run a house, only mother will understand. Maybe you girls, maybe you, or you only here at home. I and I have to play a tray, seven pounds. The tray of, you know, all the eggs is gone to seven pounds. It's gone to eight pounds. You probably hear your parents talking about this. Milk has gone that far. Ah, we've been to shopping. Oh, I took some things like that. Yeah, the two hundred pounds like that. Only spent like I, I spent five hundred pound, two hundred pound, and only labor shopping came. You probably see your parents talking about this. It's not easy. So your father is who I mentioned yesterday. Kawa Moon is the one who's going to maintain the house. If he doesn't go out, he's sitting home, sitting home. When money is not going to come, who's going to complain? Again, you guys going to complain? Expectations. so many expectations just like i talk about birthdays i talk about anniversaries if someone has forgotten he forgot my birthday that's fine i'm telling you seriously that's the biggest shaitan's trap so many fights happen on birthdays so many fights happen on anniversaries make sure don't let shaitan win your job should be you know why your job should be i'm never going to let shaitan win you know shaitan comes from the weak link shaitan is going to come to me i'm going to no 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 he wants me to fight you should be that smart that you can just win from that fight from shaitan this way you can do like shaitan is telling me how i forgot this how i forgot say that's fine is okay so that so what he is the one who sustaining me he is the one doing everything that's fine they forgot and that's okay that's fine i'll remind him or i'll remind her and then let's go just out when you going to go i'm telling you shaitan will be screaming so allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that the person who finishes the fight who finishes the argument to muslim the fighting or arguing and one person he finishes the argument one person he finishes the fight even though he knows he's right even though he knows he's right and he asks forgiveness of the person rasul rasam said i promise that person a beautiful house in jannah i promise this person who finishes the fight in his house even though he knows he's right but just for the sake of saving his house just for the sake of saving all the arguments because the arguments leads to divorce you know i'm married 22 years now 22 years still whenever we fight a customer wait for shaitan to come custom shift the shaitan to come wait for shaitan why is going to the next next step you know why i say that every time give a divorce custom that's the first thing comes in my mind straight when i, I was like subhanallah like after 20 years two years man don't you get tired don't you get tired whenever we argue something my children i'm listen you know why Girls know one thing; they are re- naturally they are built in that thing. They know how to get under your skin. They know, boy, they know. They know it very well. We don't know that. We don't have that trick. They have that trick. You very are laughing at the back. <laughs> so they know how to get under your skin, how to tease you, how to make you angry, and you have to control yourself. The boy message me. I was doing wuzu inside. I still remember that call. And he said, "Imam Sir, what shall I do, Sir? What?" He said, "Ma, why? I'm a such a patient person. I'm a very patient person. 
and my wife was just doing me head in and telling me things so much that I, I was like trying to go out of that pushing her just let me go let me go let me go I don't want to say anything I don't want to say anything but eventually I gave her three divorces and then I left home and went on drive mom said I'm a patient person but she just got me she cornered me in one place and I wanted to go out but no like I've got message today with a picture look at that subhanallah some woman they want to become a tan man as well and then after the same woman messing him, Mamza, Mamza, kuch corona. I've got little, little kids, chote chote bachin. You know the man messaged me today? He told and he sent me the paper as well. He said, he said, Mamza, this paper, it was a small paper. Me, this is the, whatever the name was of the boy, giving divorce to the name of the wife. Who wrote that paper? Wife. She was in the room. You have to give me divorce. He said, I'm not giving divorce. She wrote the paper, signature. He said, I'm not doing it. Signature, I'm calling police. Because you're abusing me. And he said, then I've made signature once and then twice. He was asking, Masala, what shall I do? Is his divorce has taken place or no? Of course it has taken place. And then after the wife, they cried. I don't know, why are you crying? The divorce, they don't have to leave. Why don't you leave? Why don't you leave? Why don't you leave? Why don't you leave? Done? Then, hey, you gave me divorce? Are you divorced me? But that's what she was asking. Been like half an hour she was asking. Divorce and I give you. Banda kab tak bardash kare? Never encourage your husband. Don't push your husband to the limit. One, and, and remember husband as well. They never stop to one talaq. Inna nami thand ni pendi jab tak tereak kathiyan na debaan. Inna nami achha. Divorce, divorce, divorce. Us baat fir doye calm down. Then ay Allah, humne kya kar diya? अब क्या करेंगे छोटे छोटे बच्चे हैं और फिर अम्मी आमदन का हार अम्मी आमदन पुत्र साठ मस्ती ना नू खाना खिला दियो तो तुझे बिल्कुल ठीक हो वो अम्मी फिर मुफ्तिया बन जाने अब बाजी भी मुफ्ती बन जाने सारे ना साठ साठ मस्ती नहीं तो कितने आगे रोजा बने जो साने तो साठ मस्ती ना नू खाना खिला दियो why? Because Darshan Nizami, we did 10 years. Darshan Nizami gone down to 4 years. What are you going to learn in 4 years? 4 years. Darshan Nizami used to be 25 years. It went down to 20 because people getting busy. Life getting busy. 20, then 12, then 10. Now it's 8 years. We did for 10 years. How many books you have to read? Ulama don't have that much knowledge. Never man ammi abu. Mom and dad don't have no knowledge. When it comes to Sharia, Kuryo, never listen to your parents. Ever. Even though your parents are sitting here, never listen to your parents. Listen to them respectfully, then after the phone us, confirm with us. Right? Is this right or is this wrong? Then it will work. Anyways, next. How gaps are created. However, our relationship with forgiveness and understanding can help bridge these gaps. Ah, this is very important. Let's say you have done something. Let's say you fought with someone. Let's say whatever happened in the house. Why cannot you just go to your husband or to your wife and say, Chal koi ni. Oh, ho jan diyan galla. Oh, ka hai nikini galla. Ho jan diyan chal bad dara. Bad dara. And Gassama, she gonna push you. Just go grab her. Just go ga. She's your wife. Thodi chuse ke malhe di zanani ni chuse jaffa baan lagi ho. You're not giving the hug to any nun maharam. She's your wife. Just like the way you're going to, you know, make, reconcile things with your mom. Remember, you're saving your house. You're not saving anyone's house. You saving your own. Go give her a hug. Take her. No, I'm telling you we're going out. We're definitely going out today. Definitely going out. Go buy gift. Buy some gifts. Rasulullah said, giving gifts increases love. Whenever you have some problem with someone, believe me, whenever you have some problem with someone, buy gifts and go give him. Or go gift, gift to your mom. Gift your, uh, your dad. Your friends. Whenever your problem custom and and any kind of sab tum maari kajur hai, oh dehniye ja gaya. Because I'm not gonna eat, so let's give it to Masjid. Why the best kajur you keep with you? The best, no no, the one you really like, the the abaya you really love, the phone you really like. You give that phone to the person. You buy really good clothes to for for the girl. I'm telling you, next thing she'll become good with you. Or if not one or two, chalo do tin de khareed rio. It's fine. It's okay. It is, you know, at least it, 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 it reconciling thing in your your own house. You're saving your own house. Is it? Tell me, is it not worth of your, you know, going through all the headache? Is it not worth? 
हर रोज मरने से बेहतर नहीं कि बंदा अपना सेव रिश्ता कर ले सो फगिवनेस इज रसूल एनी वन आस्क फगिवनेस वेन यू आस्क फगिवनेस रसूल हदी शरीफ दर एनी वन आस्क फगिवनेस एंड थ्रू आस्किंग फगिवनेस इज इफ हिज रिस्पेक्ट डिक्रीज इज आई विल गिव हिम रिस्पेक्ट ऑन द डे ऑफ जजमेंट रसूल प्रोमिसिंग थ्रू आस्किंग फगिवनेस फ्रॉम पीपल इफ योर रिस्पेक्ट डिक्रीज come on the day of judgment come to me i'll give you respect on that day so if it does i think you should make dua ya allah please whenever i ask forgive me my respect decrease why because on the day of judgment i can get it from rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when rasulullah is going to give you respect remember remember when people come here or they they want to stand next to imam why because they want to see see i'm close to imam or any scholar when a big scholar come they they are all after him they take the things and all that so that see i'm closer to this guy everyone knows him on the day of judgment رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم is going to be there even anbiya will say adam alai salam ibrahim alai salam musa alai salam isa alai salam you know the hadith they will go everyone will go to those people are not people to those uh, anbiya and they will say no we can't help you we can't help you nafsa nafsi 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 i am worried about myself ya yeah, isa alai salam will say i know the man you need to go to and he will help you you will go to rasul allah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and rasul allah صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم look why he will say he said yes i'm the man i'm the one who will help you today and then he will go sajda and rest of the hadith you guys know when he will allah subhanahu will say irfa rasak and nabi you raise your head uh, from the sajda ask do shafaat intercede for people i will in- accept your intercession subhanallah and that day rasul will come to me come to me and i will give you respect now you doing you killing two birds with one stone you saving your house and you saving your akhira how many things we can do if just we use our sense and we don't get mad you know never get angry once you become nervous or angry you can't do anything i've been speaking from last 10 years you have paper front of you all the points are written first here second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth 10 all points are there speech right in front of you remember once you get nervous looking at people whoa so many people you get nervous all those points everything are messed up you will stop mentioning second to first fifth to second will make no sense why that's not the right place keep this at the right place never get nervous whenever something happen in the house think sit down what i need to do the first purpose should be i want to save my house that would be the that should be the first purpose of every person you can say that this is this keep obligatory upon you say yeah, this is obligation upon me i want to save my house for girls when they come they say no imam sahab i'll marry someone else other are you going to marry an angel oh koi farishta hona jada aake tana vyah karke ta kaar tere pair dabavega ta pair dho doge tere peevega maybe he's going to be worse than him then you have to work up all that thing now with him you have to work out start from the scratch again with him or here is already here he knows you very well why not just build up that relationship it is best to do that go and ask forgiveness forgiveness will build up you know uh, understanding between both of you forgiveness will make other person you know uh, realize how soft you are from inside next spouses should be oh allah mhm spouses should be romantic towards each other a uh, uh, pakistani pehla ek mahina one month only one month two months ha huh? new pakistani you know uh, couples eating in one plate <laughs> roti no half me and half you <laughs> yeah please drink water left some for me too and then bring it and turning the glass around where you place your lips love <laughs> uh, that's only for one month or two months ha uh, everything together whatever they do always together whatever they go together or after again few months or let's say he was mad for her maybe one or two years all the crazy is gone love should stay there even though you become 70 years old kasam you need love you we, we humans are built up in these things if this is in us we cannot get rid of love you should be romantic i think the couple who's not romantic that's dead couple that's a dead couple You should be romantic, moja maro, jani kaftari banana ke jabha baalo jaake bichhe. Yeah, even she she she's like, oh, leave it, kaftari going, jabha baalo. 
You should do that. Custom save easily. I'm, I do it. I, I tell you what. My wife is fed up of me. Custom, I go and give her a hug. I give her a hug from the, my kids. I go custom save easily. I go home and I always, uh, my kids, uh, they, my wife probably listen as well. I go and I'll, I put my heart in, in her lap and watching television. After 22 years, we are not married yesterday. I was 18 when I got married. I'm 40, nearly going to 41. For 22 years marriage, I we still watch our program together. We go out together. We about to go watch Kung Fu Panda 42. Yeah, I <laughs> I love animation movies. We cannot. I'm telling you, we cannot wait for Kung Fu Panda to come out. I love. And another one is the Rise of the Planet of the Apes. That's coming out fourth. God, we are we we family cannot wait, and we watch at home. To be honest, seriously, my wife's watching. I only put my head in her lap. And then we just watch TV. This is how we do it. This is how you should be like. You are, you should be. Romance is not that. Jana was going to the battle sofa. Hey, and you got it. So, Nani, you're sitting here. It's like you're sitting here. Two wives are one husband and Why? Two wives are one husband sitting on one sofa. Yeah, you both are husband and wife. How are you supposed to be like? This is how you live life? No wonder why your husband, wife is going away from you. No wonder why your husband is going away for you. You are two people living in a house, not husband and wife. You should be romantic. Romance custom makes your life beautiful. The person who has no romance in him, he's a dead body. I, I don't know how people can live without romance. How can you live without romance? That should never go off. Look at this. This is love. Love of who? Your Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And our mother, Hazrat Aisha Siddiqa, she says, when I was menstruating, I was going through menstruation, I was going through the, uh, you know, uh, the impurity days, I would drink water, then hand the vessel, vessel basically the glass or cup, to Rasulullah and he would put his mouth where mine had been, and then he drink. What I mentioned before actually, that only happens in few days, first few days. But then after that he goes, Rasulullah says, no, you should stay there. Let me tell you another thing. Rasulullah Sassam the love with Hazrat Khatija Razi Allah Ta'ala. When Hazrat Khatija Razi Allah passed away. Amazing. Look at that. Because when I was reading, my, the tears were in my eyes. How much Rasulullah Sassam loved Hazrat Khatija and how much he's missing her. When she passed away, Rasulullah has gone to Medina. After many years, her sister came. Hazrat, you know, when sister, when they walk, when they talk, oh, when they found, Sometimes their walking steps are same. Sometimes their voices are same. Their body language are same. Her, Hazrat Khatija and her sister, their walking steps were same. So when Hazrat Khatija, the sister, when she came to the door, Hazrat Aisha Siddiqa was inside the house. And Rasulullah Sallallahu was inside the house. They both were inside the house. Hazrat Aisha says, as soon as Rasulullah heard those footsteps, Rasulullah so quickly he sat down on, the, in, in, uh, on his bed and started thinking about Hazrat Khatija. Because you can tell Hazrat Rasulullah is missing Hazrat Khatija so much. So he sat down, then she came inside, she asked of course permission. Hazrat Khatija's sister came inside and they talk and then she went of course. And then Aisha said, then I went to Rasulullah Sallallahu And I said, just to give, us, give him some comfort that he's missing his wife and he's maybe a little bit sad. So I just went to give, give him comfort. I said, Ya Rasulullah, your young wife is with you. And you're thinking about our old wife. As Asha says, he got so angry on me. He got so angry. How dare someone talk about my Khatija like that? Why passed away time ago? Lived how long with Rasulullah? How long he lived? She lived with Rasulullah. Rasulullah said, when I was going through trouble, she was the one, she was standing next to me. Khatija gave me daughters. Khatija gave me boys. And you saying to me that don't remember Khatija? So as Asha says, after that, I never mentioned Hazrat Khatija. I got so scared, I never even talked about Hazrat Khatija like that. She said, I only went there to comfort Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam got so angry. How dare someone talk about my Khatija like that? This is called love between husband and wife. Love is not putter body to body. Love is not zero size. Hai, that body is hai. Hai, e, apple ka athu, and jo yan, it seems like shaitan's horns. Whenever I see, I think it's definitely devil horns. And some are going rather than here. Here. Manu yaad aanda kisi Pakistan ta ki anak wala jin. Manu zakuta jin yaad aanda. Butter zakuta jada de mujhe dud palao main kya karu main kahan jaun. 
ਉਹਦੇ ਇੰਜ ਪਰ ਮੱਠੇ ਬਣੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸਨ ਇੰਜ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸਨ ਆਈਬ੍ਰੋਸ ਰਾਈ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਅਪ ਦ ਮੈਨ ਆਈ ਸੀ ਥੀਸ ਗਰਲਸ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਪਨ ਟੂ ਥੀ ਗਰਲਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਹੋਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਟ੍ਰੇਟ ਪਰ ਚਲੋ ਠੀਕ ਐ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਬਦੀ ਵਨ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਰੋਮਾਂਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਬ੍ਰਿੰਗਿੰਗ ਦ ਰੋਮਾਂਸ ਫਰਮ ਟੂ ਦ ਲਾਈਫ ਆਫ ਰਸੂਲੁਲਲਾ ਸੱਲਲਾਹੁ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਰੀਡ ਰਸੂਲੁਲਲਾ ਸਮਸ ਲਾਈਫ ਦਾਸ ਦਰ ਵੀਨ ਦੇ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਬਰਕਾ ਇਨ ਆਵਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਈਵਨ ਨੋ ਹਾਊ ਟੂ ਲਿਵ ਵਿਦ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਈਵਨ ਨੋ ਹਾਊ ਵਾਟ ਆਵਰ ਬਾਉਂਡਰੀਜ਼ ਆ ਐਂਡ ਵੇਅਰ ਆਵਰ ਬਾਉਂਡਰੀਜ਼ ਫਿਨਿਸ਼ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਜ਼ ਐਂਗਰੀ ਗੋ ਹੋਗ ਇਫ ਸ਼ੀ ਗੋ ਐਂਗਰੀ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਵਾ ਬੀਡੀ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਐਂਗਰੀ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਟੋਕਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਦੈਟਸ ਇਟ ਡੋਨਟ ਆਮ ਨੋਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੋਕ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਨਾਉ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਗੋ ਵਨ ਵੀਕ ਟੂ ਵੀਕਸ ਗੋ ਆਨ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਵੇਟਿੰਗ ਨੋ ਡੀਪ ਡਾਊਨ ਕਸਮ ਆਫ ਟੈਲ ਯੂ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਡੀਪ ਡਾਊਨ ਦੇ ਬੋਥ ਆਰ ਵੇਟਿੰਗ ਫੋਰ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਅੱਜ ਜਿਹਨੇ ਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਹੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਆਈਆ ਅੰਦਰ ਅੰਦਰ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਜਾਣਾ ਰੂਸੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਤੇ ਜਾਂ ਜਨਾਨੀ ਰੂਸੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਤੇ ਤਾਂ ਅੰਦਰੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਦੁਵੇਲ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਕੋ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਨਾਣ ਪਰ ਅੰਦਰੋਂ ਇੰਤਜ਼ਾਰ ਕਰਨ ਲੱਗੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਬੁੱਢਾ ਆਵੇ ਮਨਾਵੇ ਮਨੂ ਹਾਂ ਇਹ ਬੁੱਢੀ ਆਵੇ ਮਨਾਵੇ ਮਨੂ ਹਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਐਂ ਜੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਨਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਹੋਈ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸਾਰ ਹੀ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਸ਼ਾਦੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਈ ਆਤੋਂ ਵੈਨ ਇਟ ਹੈਪਨਸ ਆਮ ਟੈਲਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਡੀਪ ਡਾਊਨ ਵਾਈਫ ਇਜ਼ ਵੇਟਿੰਗ ਫॉर ਯੂ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਡੀਪ ਡਾਊਨ ਯੂਰ ਹਸਬੰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਵੇਟਿੰਗ ਫॉर ਯੂ ਟੂ ਕਮ ਯੂ ਜਸਟ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਫਰਸਟ ਸਟੈਪ ਦਾ ਵਨ ਸਟੈਪ ਆਮ ਟੈਲਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਟੇਕ ਜਸਟ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਫ ਸਮ ਸ਼ੇਮ ਨੋ ਮੈਂ ਮੈਂ ਵੱਡੇ ਪਿਓ ਦੀ ਧੀ ਆ ਤੋ ਬਾਦ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਵੱਡੇ ਪਿਓ ਦਾ ਪੁੱਤਰ ਆ ਫਿਰ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਗੋਨ ਕਮ ਆਮ ਨਾ ਗੋਨ ਕਮ ਦੈਨ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਇਨ ਮੀਨ ਟਾਈਮ ਵਾਸ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਮੀਨ ਟਾਈਮ ਸ਼ੈਤਾਨ ਇਜ਼ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਵਾਸ ਬੀ ਸੂਫੀ ਸਦੂਰੀ ਨਾਸ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਪੁਇੰਟ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਇਨ ਯੋਰ ਹਾਰਟ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਪੁਇੰਟ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਯੋਰ ਵਾਈਫਸ ਹਾਰਟ ਬਟ ਵਾਈ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਨਾ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਵਾਈ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਸ ਨਾ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਵਾਈ ਡਿਡ ਹੀ ਸੇ ਦੈਟ ਵਾਈ ਸ਼ੀ ਜਸ ਸੈਡ ਸੈਡ ਦੈਟ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਔਰ ਵਾਈ ਡਿਡ ਹੀ ਟੋਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਮਾਈ ਪੈਰੈਂਟਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਦੈਟ ਬਟ ਵਾਈ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਸ ਟੋਰ ਮਾਈ ਮਦਰ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਦ ਸੇਮ ਥਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਹੈਡ ਸੇਡ ਕੁਆਇਟ ਆਈ ਟੈਲ ਯੂ ਵਨ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਸਟੇ ਕੁਆਇਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟਫੁਲ ਪਰਸਨ ਯੂ ਰਿਸਪੈਕਟ ਹਰ ਪੈਰੈਂਟਸ ਸ਼ੀ ਵੁਡ ਸੇ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਸ਼ੀ ਵਾਂਟਸ ਸੇ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਯੋਰ ਪੈਰੈਂਟਸ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਮਸਟ ਬੀ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਦੈਟਸ ਦਾ ਵੀਜ਼ਨ ਸ਼ੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਇਫ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਸਵੈਰਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਮੇਬੀ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਨਾ ਸਵੈਰਿੰਗ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਜਸਟ ਟੀਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਹਿਮ ਟੂ ਦ ਲੈਵਲ ਥੈਟ ਹੀ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਬਟ ਐਨੀਵੇਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਲਵ ਆਫ ਰਸੂਲ ਅਲੈਹਿ ਵਸੱਲਮ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਸੈਟ ਸੇਵ ਸਮ ਵਾਟਰ ਫੋਰ ਮੀ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਟੂ ਆਸ਼ਾਸ ਡਿਗਾ ਸੇਜ਼ ਰਜ਼ੀ ਅੱਲਾਹੁ ਤਾਲਾ ਨਾ ਰਸੂਲ ਟਰਨ ਦ ਗਲਾਸ ਰਾਉਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਪਲੇਸ ਹਿਸ ਲਿਪਸ ਥੇ ਵੇਰ ਮਾਈ ਲਿਪਸ ਵਰ ਪਲੇਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਨ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਮੈਂਸਟ੍ਰੇਟਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਈਟ ਫਲੈਸ਼ ਫ੍ਰਮ ਅ ਬੋਨ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਈਟ ਮੀਟ ਫ੍ਰਮ ਦ ਬੋਨ ਥੈਨ ਹੈਂਡ ਇਟ ਓਵਰ ਟੂ ਰਸੂਲ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਸੱਲੈ ਵਸੱਲਮ and he, he would put his mouth where mine had been subhanallah rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is eating food and then he ate one boti eh one meat a piece of meat and he handed over to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam rasulullah sallam ate from there where hazrat aisha siddiqa was eating this is called love this is the love we need to bring in our lives acha ji next when is nikah obligatory upon me now let me give you three nikahs there are three nikahs first nikah is ਫਰਦ ਨਿਕਾਹ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਹਰਾਮ ਨਿਕਾਹ ਥਰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਸੁੰਨਾ ਨਿਕਾਹ ਸੋ ਥ੍ਰੀ ਨਿਕਾਹਸ ਫਰਦ ਨਿਕਾਹ ਹਰਾਮ ਨਿਕਾਹ ਐਂਡ ਸੁੰਨਾ ਨਿਕਾਹ
baby is going to come do you know how expensive nappies are how expensive cow and get milk are ha eh? 11 pound da hunda si udu shukr hai mere do vadde ho gaye nu dudh de syape mukke ha eh? do you know how expensive things are but if you cannot provide to your wife no matter put to tusi maran vi lagge ho you cannot marry anyone but if you do marry someone nikah will take place though nikah will take place why sharia is saying that you should not be marrying it is haram for you to marry because you going to put someone else in trouble you already in trouble because you you have no money you have no shelter where you going to keep your wife you know when i say shelter what do you mean by shelter shelter no you have to have another house if you are living with your parents and there is a one room separate for you and then you can provide the key of that room to your wife that's more than enough one room for your wife not the whole house manu jab ta panj bedroom hel ban jana labya te main tena vyah nahi karna te bar pra paak hi farari hove then no 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 any normal car even a car is not even necessity house is what house just one room even though you living with your parents even though i'm against this do live with your parents but there can be so many problems buy another house next to your parents house next to your parents house because i know how many problem create once you go married because now what they is wives they don't have no patience everyone wants their own lifestyle she wants to want watch television some programs anything her and parents are there they are don't like it and they say why are you leaving this house why are you going out this time why are you going out this time they're always nagging they always telling her or if parents are doing something and the new wife who came she is putting boundaries around parents they're not going to like her and the stress level is slowly slowly is going up going up going up it's like you open the gas in your house and you're just waiting for the fire to come but the gas is all over the house why is gas your the tension is rising is rising is rising slowly 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 one day is going to go whole house gone finish divorces and parents not talking to son son is not talking to parents wife has gone to house everything finished why not just go and buy another house next to your parents go visit them i'm not saying don't visit them islam doesn't encourage joint family anyway chache utte rehan lage phupiyan utte rehan lage kohol kohol kideyan andar hon lage sare adur pair adde vajan lage night time husband and wife having Uh, you know uh, what about the physical intercourse and then wife phone me mom samu sharma aam di na di jande ha mera sohra mera sohra naal hi lete ho the bathroom de of course why is going to think ethe de bath ghar vi nikke nikke hunde small houses can we take bath in the morning time then fajar is missing everything is going all over the place why not just go and live your own other house plus be pardagi jo brother lies is, is your non mahram father lies your mahram brother lies your non mahram so many things are happening so we need to see that before you before you are going to spend 40 50 60 grand on a shaadi put on the side and buy a house a two simple nikah but don't spend that much money on that if you have another house then you go and spend first thing is he should have a shelter if you have no shelter if you have no even house your parents house there is no room nothing at all you have no money to earn you cannot marry you can marry marriage will take place but it is haram guna for you why because many problems can create this this uh, nikah next one is sunna nikah nikah is sunna what is nikah is sunna when you are not this is the nikah of basically sunna of way of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam how nikah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is you are not desperate for anyone you are living a smooth life girls goes pass from there and you're like i don't care you passing you 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 cool one is something happening inside big time and you're like मैं नहीं तकड़ा मैं नहीं तकड़ा अंदर आने तक मैं नहीं तकड़ा आई एम बोट इज नथिंग इज हैपनिंग इन साइड यू ओके यू नो वन इज यू नो यू नो मैन दैट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग यू डोंट इवन अट्रैक्ट टुवर्ड्स बॉयज और गर्ल्स दैट्स अनदर यू नो आई वाज इन स्कूल इन पाकिस्तान एंड आवर आवर टीचर आस्क अस किस किस का दिल नहीं करता लड़कियों की तरफ देखने को और सारे हाथ फलाड़ते सर जी मेरा दिल फाइन टू बी नाइस इज इट तो हु हु डजंट लाइक लुकिंग टुवर्ड्स गर्ल्स The question was about teacher. I thought he tricked us. He said, "Who doesn't like looking towards girls?" We all raised our hands. Yes, sir. And I was one of them too. Yes, sir. We don't. He said, "You see, sorry, who's here? You all are gays." I said, "Hey, what?" He said, "Let me change the question now. Let me ask the question. Who liked looking towards girl? When a girl, beautiful girl, goes in there, you love it. 
बट यू कंट्रोल योर सेल्फ एंड यू डोंट लुक टूवर्ड्स दैट देन ओ अच्छा साजी द सेकंड वन इज मी एक्चुअली सो यू डू लव लुकिंग टूवर्ड्स गर्ल दैट्स फाइन लाइक लुकिंग टूवर्ड्स गर्ल बिकॉज़ ऑफ कोर्स द डिजायर इज दैट यू नो लिसन दिस अल्लाह सेइज आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट अल्लाह सेइज द हायत ऑफ कुरान इज زين للناس حب الشهوات من النساء زين لنا الله سبحانه وتعالى has engraved adorned your shahwat your inside desire allah has put desires inside of you man's heart ladies as well man's heart is filled with desires and then allah gives the full list of desires in that list the very first number is من النساء woman that's the first one Then after that, Allah told to talk about gold, silver. Then Allah talks about horses. Horses is in man's nature. They love horses. You all love horses. We all love horses. Have you ever seen outside? Look, even the in this day and age, have you ever seen how many, how much camel power is in this uh, car? Have you ever heard that? How much donkey power is in this car? What do you, what, what do we say? Horse power. It's in our nature. How much horse power is in this? When horses are running in TikTok, ah, ah, slow motion, it's kind of amazing. Seems like I'm sitting on it, and I seems like I'm the one who's earth rule. That's what seems like. Horses are in our nature. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says all these things in nature. But the first one, Nisa, that's in your desire. You look towards them, but you control yourself. This is what it is. That you have no desire. You have desire, but you don't really look towards them. And you can provide towards your wife as well. You can provide. You can. You have shelter. You have money. Everything. That is sunnah nikah. Now you go just do nikah. Why? You want to fulfill the sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I want to get swab from from the uh, the sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is sunnah nikah. So now, a boy asked a question. This question was asked from France. The guy asked. He messaged me from France uh, just a few days ago. Now, Chaji, he asked this question, which I've already answered. He said, "I'm not doing nikah because I have parents." I have my sisters, siblings, all that. So I then need to get married first. And plus, in France, you don't really see that many, you know, Muslim girls here. And then he said one thing at the end. This you cannot find pious girls nowadays. And this is where I stop him. I said, no, no. Pious girls are there. Pious girls. You know, people think in England they are no good girls. And when someone says to me this. I fight your case. I go after the banana. How can you say there are no good girls in England? I say I can tell you there are such a bad girls in back home as well. Here there are such good girls. It's not like they are not showing. They 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 going out. Going out is a bad thing. Going out. Yeah, they gotta work. They gotta go out here. As long as they covering themselves. But when he said they are a pious girl, how do you know they are a pious girl? Oh no, they don't want to go umrahs. They don't want to. How do you know they don't want to go umrahs? Have you met girls? No, I never met. So why are you talking then? Just because you're listening from other people, that's the reason you're saying. I said I know many girls. They message me, Mom. Say, is there anyone who can I, I can marry? I I just want someone who's pious, who's who reads nimaz. Every girl custom they say the same thing. Who reads nimaz? I don't want too much money. That's fine. I want of course good job nowadays, Mom. Say you know, I'm a I'm I'm a I'm a working person. I want to go with him umrahs. I want a pious person who's on deen. That's the main thing I want. Whenever I got any I, anything, I don't do rishte shishte. You know, rishte was you know, kiriya kuriya no, jaliya pushiya dere kolu. No, no, I don't do. I don't. I don't give no one's number to anyone. Call us. Yappa pe, yappa kuri pe. Dini kela muda pe, dini kela. I, 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 I never asked you. I don't lapo pe la. No, 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 no. Why? I don't do anything. Girls are there. You just have to look for one. Yeah, they are bad. You know, good and bad is everywhere. Boys, mode kiriya de chenge ni saare. मुड़े कहने आता कि ना बाया पाके बैठे हैं। I think all girls are in bias, not even only few. I can count few boys are in bias, and some of them are my students of this masjid. That's the reason they're wearing. Other they wouldn't be wearing a bias or not a bias jubes. They wouldn't be wearing jubes as well. Girls are wearing all bias. They're not. They're not here sitting in English clothes. They are not sitting here in Asian clothes as well, apart from auntie jeans. Or the baji jeans as well. Or my auntie jeans are getting laga. You know, college you know, I monu me auntie jeans paadita hai ne. Bada vakt pahen hai. So, if you want to, you can find a pious girl. But all these categories I've already given you about this question. The boy asked, you can see which category are you falling, and you according to that you can work towards it. 
Next G. Blessings of Nikah. I think that's the last slide and we'll finish with this. Blessings of Nikah and I'm going to give you from the Sunnah of Rasulullah Don't think Nikah doesn't bring anything. Okay, I'll tell you one more thing. You know, that's the, that's the Hadith. That's the Hadith. Uh, normally people who want to marry second time, third time, that's the Hadith they use. It's not mentioned here. One uh, a Sahabi came to Rasulullah complaining, Ya Rasulullah, uh, I don't have that much sustenance. My sustenance is very tight. Less money. Rasulullah said to him, go marry another, uh, another girl. Inshallah, subhanahu wa increase your uh, sustenance. He went married, he got married. And then a little bit went over, not that much. Then he came back to Rasulullah Ya Rasulullah, uh, still his condition period. He said, go marry again. So two to three times he said to him, go marry again. And after that, he became so rich. But that's not the case with everyone. It's definitely going to become. I think someone mentioned the you know, uh, comment as well on my TikTok when I was uh, talking about second marriages, guys. And the girl, some girl message said, They can't even look, they can't even provide for first one. How are they going to provide for second one? And that's the case. Of course, nowadays, boys, they don't have a job. Like 1200 pounds, then you know, nowadays, running a house, you need at least 2000 pounds. That's the minimum I'm telling you. Minimum to run a house, you need 2000 pounds coming towards your house. This is how much you need money. Then a house can run. If you're in a rent house, own your mortgage, whatever you are, then yeah, if you are free house, everything, then maybe about 1500 pounds, 13, 1400 pounds, but it's very hard, very hard. Why? So Rasulullah says, when a person marries, he has fulfilled half of his religion, so he should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding the remaining half. What mean by half? So half means you know, majority of your religion is completed that you have saved yourself from. From sins. Go fulfill your desire towards your wife. Not towards anyone else. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And once you don't have wife and you encourage towards your desires. And you can't control yourself. And your shaitan. You've been feeding your shaitan so much. And your shaitan is all over you. And remember I'll tell you one thing. Seriously. You can't read books. You cannot concentrate in namaz. You cannot concentrate wherever you are. The only thing in your mind. That's I'm talking about only man. I don't know about the girls. But man, I'm telling you, say with you. you can't concentrate anywhere. You cannot concentrate. You probably already know. Why cannot you concentrate towards your religion? Just because of that one thing. One thing. Rasul says, go and marry. Your half the problems are gone. Now you can concentrate in your nimaz. You can concentrate in your work. You can concentrate in your parents. You can concentrate everywhere. Because when your concentration is all over the place, this is when you are depressed. Mom says, I don't know what to do. I do this, everything mess up. I do this and everything mess up. It's messing up because... You are not obeying the Sharia of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You live your life according to the Sharia of Rasulullah Sallam. Everything is fine. Next hadith. No house has... I love this hadith. I love this. And I'll give you the deep meaning of this hadith. It's just clear meaning is that no house has been built in Islam more beloved in the sight of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala than through marriage. This is meaning. This stays the house where a husband and wife live. Allah loves that house. Isn't it amazing? The house where husband and wife are living. Allah loves the house. What is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Is it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Love is like me loving towards my wife or me loving towards my parents and parents loving towards me. When Allah loves you, that means Allah will send all the blessings in the house. Allah will not let no shaitan come near the house. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fill your actions, your children, your relationship full of blessing that is the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the house where husband and wife are living halal way they are living in the house the house is full of blessings there is barakah in sustenance there is barakah in your relationship there is barakah in children this is what he calls a house because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the house so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those who have not married may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you wife and the barakah comes in your house I am mad, Sadhke Jawan, Teri Amin Ta. Hoi, hoi, Amin. Ke Umar hai Teri Puttar? How old are you? 18. Aba, see, kya da vya kar? I was 18 when I got married. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Teri Amin Allah kabool kar hai. Adda, Addi Tarsi Amin. Addi Khubi Amin Teri nikli hai. Amin, Allah. Ya Allah. Ramzan de minne kabool for my. Atha Ramzan amin na khatam hai. Eid ala daddy manu kuriya daa farma de. Chadi Prophet said When a husband and a wife Oi hoi hoi Subhanallah 
when a husband and wife look at each other with love allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks at them with mercy let me repeat that again subhanallah if you know one is reading hadith i want to go deep in the hadith i love it don't just read the words and then wa oi hoy hoy maza aa gaya what's the meaning uh, meaning nahi pata maza aa gaya imam sahab oh nat khan ne sunde ha oh rim jim rim jar eh sar ya ali maza aa gaya nat khan ye sikhya ke hai pata nahi oh sher di samajh lagi ya pata nahi te chumman inj lagi hunde ne pata nahi ke hon lagya these are all vocals mic going up mic going down that's all is to hone bhi pagal hon lagi ho sare koi samajh lagi hai samajh lagdi kuch bhi nahi understand the hadith So when a husband and wife look at each other with love, Allah swt look at them with mercy. So Allah is so close to you. That means how close Allah is to you. Whenever, how many times you look at each other, you look at each other thousand times in a day. Allah will look at you thousand times with mercy. Subhanallah. You look at them. Look at your husband. Night time, you draw near a band over, and you look at your husband. Allah is still watching you. Allah is always with you. Don't think Allah is not there. You daytime you look at your husband. Allah will be looking at you and your husband with mercy. And you can do video call if you think my husband is not here. My husband is at work. My husband is not home. Let's do video call. That doesn't mean that you have to look at your husband. Ah, who will mercy come? No, just phone him, talk to him. Are you okay? I thought you were at work. ये कॉल में बड़ी खामद को मजा देती है लास्ट टाइम यूरिंग when you are work or oh, are you okay you have to do these things this is when relationship it builds trust it builds you know trust it takes time to build but it takes seconds to break you know people say trust me yaar you, you trust you know something trust me ali aap pagal na tera trust trust you have to build trust it's like a building you takes time to build the building takes time but to collapse the building it takes seconds and then after that maybe the trust can never be built so it takes time this is how we have to work towards our wife so look look of love towards your wife and look with the love towards your husband allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looking towards you with mercy now again as a man to be what is the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will forgive your sins whatever sins you have committed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive your sins people say imam sahab give us some dua wazifa that we can forgive allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give forgive us that said wazifa are in your house around you but you are not concentrating because you have no knowledge look towards your mother looking towards your mother once with happy look i told my wife and my wife are like in a mother's face like i said ab pichha ho kyun maan ke aan lagi hai tu and no i said but you said to me that look towards your mom with happy face i that's not happy face that's a teasing face happy way they happily ask them mom you okay Do you want to, any appointment is here? I can help you. Anything, anything, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will give you the sawab, the reward of a one Hajj, makbul Hajj, not normal Hajj, mabrur Hajj, which is already accepted Hajj. Looking towards your mom, so many you know sins are forgiven. Looking towards your husband, looking towards your wife, so much mercy, so much blessing. But we are neglecting all those blessings. We neglect our wife. We have neglected our husband. Are reading the Hajjud? Allah don't want you to hajud forget about you know nafal nafal shafal concern of wajibat wajibat is your husband has to be happy wajibat are your wife should be happy that is wajib upon you that is fard for obligatory these are actions are so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfeeq to understand our deen may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfeeq so truly we can adopt the sharia of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we can bring happiness in our lives the whole point the whole purpose of these lectures are we take something with us home so that we can adopt these teachings and we can live our life and make our lives better any questions from here yes zanab puppy ji 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 puppo now the question is what is the simple nikah simple nikah is that you and your husband sit down the future husband sit down 
Imam sub comes and whatever the little bit jahil you need to give, or sunnah, whatever you want to give, you give. According to sunnah, this is what it is. Simply, if only few people come and that's it, the nikah. Even the loads of people come, that is simple. Simple nikah is you spend less money. You taking loans and on interest as well and going to Nawab Hotel and doing all those weddings, your debt on you are next 40 years. And then you say to the boy and girl, these are your wedding, you go and pay. We never ask you to do it. Simple nikahs, bring them in the masjid. We have done many nikahs here. In this place, amazing. Just come here, boy and girl, there's Sunnah of Rasulullah Make you do me nikah inside the masjid. Boy come here, girl come here, two boys, three boys here, all your whole family can come here. Do your nikah here and after the next day, you can do walima and proper nice walima you can do. Fulfill the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallam, that's Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallam. Simple nikah this. Otherwise, dolki, all these, mandi, all these things, you know, anything which goes against Sharia. You know, all these ceremonies are fine as long as they are not going against Sharia. Songs and all the stuff, kuriya, nacha nacha, chaliyo, yeh, baal, yeh, lagda, pata nikah, pasinah, na, boma, amal, lagi hoon diyan, lipstick, sari, lagi hoon diyan, chaliyo, yeh, yeh, kaar. Oh, the, naal, cousin, phiran, lagi hoon diyan, naal, cousin, naal, nacha nacha, everything going on, that is haram, mix gathering, and pagala, chaliyo, nacha nacha, yeh, yeh, sit down, you can say some words or something, anything. These things are okay, man, these are okay, these fine is okay, but as long as no haram things are going on. Yeah, of course, music, I know music we saw, why did I say, 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 why did